film. Michael, Thank you. Wonderful to have the opportunity to talk to you. I've been such a big fan of yours for so many years. And I just have to mention here, it looks like it looked like to me watching this movie that you had just way too much fun playing this crotchety old drunk. I did actually, because I'm, I'm usually the, <laughs> the nice guy, you know, or, or he he might be a bit dodgy, but he's he's got a heart of gold, you know. Yes. And uh, after seven eighths of the movie, I could just go for it. An absolutely unlovable character for seven eighths of the movie. Yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, working with sheep. I, listen, I, I don't know about you. Look, did you have to become a, a sheep aficionado to work on this film? Did you need to go to a farm and figure out how to even tend to them or anything, or was it just like, eh, I'm going for it? I come from sheep country in central Queensland, yeah. and I echo the the. Uh, the sediments of the film where they really look down on merinos. Yes. Because merinos have been uh, bred for their wool at the expense of their brain. <laughs> so really? These, they, these were really intelligent sheep <laughs> compared to a merino, really. That's amazing. I say, I don't know the difference between sheep. Obviously, I have a son who's studying veterinary, veterinary medicine right now and in Dublin, Ireland, of all places. And he, um, the last two internships, he has been delivering baby lambs. There's nothing yeah. cuter than a baby lamb. Don't you agree? This is true. This is true. <laughs> Think about the last scene. Yes. Well, I don't, we don't want to give anything away, Michael. I know, uh, I know, honestly, I but, but do you still eat lamb chops is what I need to know. Oh yes, oh, I'm a carnivore. I really am. I, I wish I wasn't. I know. You know my, my wife would, would, would settle into vegetarianism if it wasn't for me. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm a carnivore, I have to say. Now, I loved watching the relationship between you and Sam Neill, and I, I found it amazing when I, I look back because I wanted to see some of your earlier things that you had done, and I go, Holy mackerel, you guys did the Sullivans together almost 40 years ago. I know. And where you are now. What was it like after all this time being back with Sam Neill? Well, we'd, we'd sort of, you know, acting is like ships meeting in the night. And we'd <laughs> sort of, sort of, the only time we'd see each other was sort of at awards nights right. and things like that, where we'd sort of exchange mild insults with each other you know <laughs> in the australian way yeah. so uh um so it was nice to really connect actually uh during the film you know because we we were a sort of a couple of thousand miles from home so, right yeah yeah no and the landscape is absolutely oh gorgeous. isn't it beautiful it's it's a it's a little area of the world which I hadn't seen. I'd seen some of the, the beaches and national parks out that end, but the Stirling Ranges and the, and the wildflowers were out. You'd look down around you and there's, there'd be these tiny, beautiful wildflowers and, and banksias and bottle brush like I'd never seen before. And it wow. varies from area to area. It's just beautiful. Stunning. I mean, Western Australia has one of the most diverse and extraordinary landscapes from, from north to south. It's, I, I can't tell you, I've been uh, privileged enough to see quite a bit of it, and it is just gorgeous. Yeah, bucket list, totally bucket list after when we can travel. It's high on my, yeah. high on my list, there's no question. So how, how hard was it for you to be at odds with your brother in this film? <laughs> oh, it's just acting. Come on. No, come on. I, I, it, felt, it felt cantankerous. Come on. <laughs> no, no, no. I, it, it, it's all a big act. I know, I know. But the it, hardest, it hardest, thing, the hardest thing was stumbling and falling over in the paddocks. You know, at 75, I thought, I'm, you know, I'm getting a bit old for this. <laughs> And, were the, were and the, it was dry, and it was driving the quad bike and trying not to run over the dog. Oh, the dog, yes. Because of course the, the director wanted, you know, the sheep and, and the quad bike in picture. Right. And so I had to be right on them. 
much more than you would be normally. <laughs> and then the dog took no notice of the trail bike. So Sam behind me, his job was to say, dog, break, dog, break. <laughs> Oh my goodness, unbelievable. And were any of the sheep divas? Did you have any problems with any of them? Um, no, but, <laughs> but one of the females yeah. made it much uh, easier to look after the big ram. Ah. I, think he was in, I think he was in love. Sounds like it. So, yeah, yeah. It's, could you Definitely. ever imagine keeping sheep or a ram in your home? No. No. I mean, come on. No, that's a New Zealand thing, apparently. Is it really? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Not an Australian thing. No, no. It's, it's all, it's, it's, it's the Australian joke about New Zealand is sheep. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and you know, I, I sort of, well, like, she'll cast the right nationality <laughs> for this film <laughs> with Sam, who just loved his sheep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. A little, a little too much, I would say. He, he, he communicated more with the sheep than he did with Miranda Richardson. Yes, character. I know. Who, who would do that? I mean, I mean really? <laughs> <laughs> you have this beautiful actress on your. Yeah. I, I don't know. We got to, we got to talk to Sam about that. There's no question. He's been about. I think he's been around dinosaurs for too long. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's all CGI. I we know. have to give him a green screen. <laughs> get him back to normal. <laughs> Aside from the comedy and stuff that, that goes on, there is a serious issue in this film. And it's about, you know, when your flock gets this disease, as we see in this, um, you know, you, you have to put them all down. Like, th this has to be devastating for farmers and people who, who raise sheep. And if something like this happens, I mean, that's their livelihood. That's a little scary. Yeah, yeah. I, I think people have an idea that farmers don't care about their, their animals because, they, you know, a lot of them are going to be eaten. Uh, but they do, they very much do. There's, a, there's a, a sort of a thing, I remember I was at a friend's property and there was this uh, big bullet hopelessly bogged and, and we tried everything, couldn't get it out. And, yeah. and uh, the, the next door neighbour uh, sort of came back with the, the, the rifle and it was actually Jack Thompson. It was on Jack Thompson's farm and, and Jack took the rifle off him and said, I'll do it, mate. Wow. Um, because it's very hard for yeah. the farmers to do that. Yeah, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. Before we wrap, I, I, I have to ask you, because we look back at your amazing career, Michael, and I, I wanted to know, I kind of know the answer, but, you know, viewers would probably want to know this, the role that really changed your life, like just changed it, made it go into the star that you are today. What was it? The castle. Yeah. I mean, the Sullivans had a bit to do with it. it, it, it funnily enough, the, the Sullivans sort of established an archetype, which I've found very hard to get rid of. Because prior to that, um, I, I, I used to play American characters, European characters, and it's very hard for people in Australia now to see me like that. Yeah. But prior to the castle, I was sort of that, that comfy old couch getting dusty in the corner. And it just put me back there again. Wow. Um, because I was dead in the water. I hadn't worked for uh, 12 months prior to the castle. Huh. And I'd, I'd sort of given it away and I was starting to write and do all sorts of things. And uh, um, all of a sudden, boom. Yeah. Here we are again. And it's sort of, it sort of lasted. That's well, yes, although, it's busted, yes. Although I'd, I'd uh, give my right arm for a good comedy. I would like to see that. I would like to see you in a good comedy. I think we're going because to get Because it's been a while. Yeah. I mean, there's been bits of comedy and things, but in terms of an all-out comedy, uh, I'd love to do that. I'm sick of exploring the dark recesses of my psyche. I'm, just give me a good comedy for once, will you? We'll find you. You know, I think we could call up Adam Sandler and I think he'll get something going for you. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know how I'd go with Adam Sandler because of Rob Schneider. I know. <laughs> I know, but they're pals and that's why I went there. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Michael, thank you so much for your time today. It's really been a pleasure talking to you. You're fantastic in this movie. I really, really enjoyed it and I hope I think people will too. So 